A few days ago I emphasized the importance of the blockchain getting into the downstream use cases in order to increase the adoption of the technology. I believe that such innovation have a huge part to play on how we shape the usage of the technology and how fast it becomes fully adopted. Like we have always said on this channel, the blockchain technology is a technology that can truly transform many things and make our lives better as humans, but the work needed to be done to actualize this is moving from the finance perspective to the use cases that bring everyone together. Fitness and even simple body activity are part of many people's lives. And blockchain product that taps into something that is a daily part of many people's lives will be at the peak of crypto adoption. Today we are going to discuss one of those use cases that have been taking shape over the year but is getting mainstream attention of recent. We will be looking into the move to earn concept and discussing how the STEP app is about to take the move to earn concept into a next gear. In this video, we will discuss what move to earn is, how it works, what STEP app is, and its tokenomics. But before we continue, kindly hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. Thank you. So, let's look into move to earn. Paying people to move is not a novel concept. Sweatcoin, for instance, is an app that has been rewarding users for walking since 2018. Users are paid in reward points called sweatcoins, which they can exchange in-app for goods and services like fitness apparel, nutritional products, gadgets, entertainment subscriptions, yoga memberships, and so on. The issue is that users can't actually cash out their sweat coins or make money off of them. But with the rise of play-to-earn games that reward users in cryptocurrency for playing games, it was only a matter of time before move-to-earn apps emerged. The Step app reward users in cryptocurrency for simply moving around or engaging in fitness-related challenges. And the token can in fact be cashed out for fiat money. Now, let's look into how move-to-earn works. Move to Earn is still a concept that is growing, with many of today's apps having the same user mechanics. These include 1. Relying on GPS and cellular signals to track a user's movement. If the signal is bad, then there's no guarantee that the user will earn rewards. 2. Utilizing a dual token system. One token is used to reward users, while the other token is used to govern the protocol. 3. Requiring users to make an initial investment. For instance, buying an NFT sneaker to begin earning rewards. Now that we have a better understanding of what Move to Earn means, let's understand what Step App does. Step App is the first Move to Earn app built on Avalanche and probably the most direct competitor to Steph, covering the same physical activities and also requiring users to buy NFT sneakers called Sneaks. The project does distinguish itself by prioritizing decentralization and being community funded via DAO Maker. Step App is a combination of a very physical experience, which is fitness, within the metaverse, through the use of NFTs and geolocation technology. Furthermore, augmented reality for better immersion is an added feature of Step App Metaverse. Some of the important products of Step App include 1. Fitness Metaverse, combining NFT and digital avatar with exercises. 2. NFT Market, buying and selling sneak. 3. Limited Drops, Limited Sneak Edition. They also have some interesting unique features according to their white paper which includes 1. Buybacks, 50% of play income is used to buy FitFi tokens on the market. 2. Burns, Governance can vote to burn up to 50% of bought back FitFi tokens. 3. Staking Rewards, up to 50% of market bought tokens are distributed to FitFi stackers. 4. Locks, Staked FitFi tokens require a 10-day cooldown for exiting, and bypassing this cooldown carries a 12% fee on the principal stake. 5. Liquidity Incentives LP tokens get a 50% higher weight in staking rewards. Additionally, the Step App project followed the purpose of the DAO protocol to keep the project as open source as possible. Let's wrap it up by look into the Step App token. Step App token economy includes staking, locks, liquidity incentives, buybacks, and burns. These are driven by demand drawn by both gameplay perks and value drawn from the game economy. FitFi tokens are the governance token. These benefit from ecosystem fees. KCAL tokens are the in-game token. Furthermore, KCAL tokens are used to buy sneaks and are earned from running while staking a sneak. FitFi token use cases includes 1. Administration. 2. Bet to get part of the ecosystem share. 3. 
bet to get a price reduction when purchasing NFT in the NFT industry. 4. Stake to earn portion of ecosystem fees. However, KCAL token use cases include 1. Casting and maintenance sneak NFT. 2. Staking in game rewards. 3. Minting. 4. Users earns KCAL while running. 5. Staking. All the sneaks must be staking to earn KCAL. Furthermore, the total supply of FitFi is 5 billion, with a circulating supply of 250 million, and a market cap of $122.1 million, currently selling at $0.3. So the fact is that this project is still at its initial stage, and they have a long plan ahead in their white paper. However, they have a product with many other similar products in the market. Let us know what you think about Step App in the comment section. Kindly note that this is not a financial advice, therefore do your own research. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to turn on your notification so that you can get notified each time we post a video on this channel. See you next time.